Hello, Jay. Uh, this is V from Central New York. I have just finished listening to your episode on Martin Luther King and thought I would offer a few insights. I have been studying Dr. King now for about uh, 10 years. And the information which was bought, brought out on your recent episode uh, got me to thinking, particularly on the aspect of um, Dr. King's, quote, paternalism. Uh, now, this has become a very in vogue uh, statement and to make recently about his concern with black men over black women. And I'm often uh, remindful of people who I find who want to talk about this, that one, this was the 1960s. Uh, two, in the black community, black men often take positions of protection over their women because it was often through the woman that the white men wish to do the most damage upon the psyche of the black family, thus by raping in degrading through forceful touching of a black female, um, they could show the black male that he had no power over the white society in general. This is often missed in the white society um, because uh, they do not understand the inner workings of our community. Secondly, in a speech that has recently come to light from 1964 called Summer of Our Discontent, Dr. King makes a mention of the fact that the media was uh, making a big deal of women in the workplace, but this was specifically for white women in the workplace because in the speech, Dr. King mentions in the black community, it has been a tradition that the black woman was always working. She was always engaged in labor. So that was not something unique to us. It was, uh, or excuse me, it wasn't something new to us. In, in fact, in most poor white families, it wasn't even new to them. White women had always been working. So we need to definitely remember the context of what Dr. King um, was about and not just throw around this new in vogue term called paternalism. On paternalism, black men have been uh, routinely accused of being paternalistic, which to me is ironic because in the society, black men have so little power. And in many instances, black females are preferred in the workplace now because of the system and how uh, I've literally heard uh, human resource uh, personnel say this, that black women count twice for them. So they can say we have a woman and we have a minority. So uh, this is all stuff that needs to be kept in the forefront of the mind as we are uh, engaging in modernist critiques of Dr. King critiques which we are not necessarily making um, on a national stage when it comes to other people uh, of a high caliber, particularly in the white community. So um, I, I just wanted to share that. And again, the speech titled, if anyone wants to look it up, is called Summer of Our Discontent. It is a brilliant piece of oratory. Thank you, Jay, for your work, and thank you for that brilliant episode. Wish I had more time to discuss it, but uh, until the next time, peace.